I'd say it's about time we went for another achievement run, guys. What do you say? Welcome back, everybody. If you are new here, then welcome. My name is Chewy. We play strategy games on this channel, and today we're going to be starting a new campaign here as the Serene Republic of Venice. We're going to be going for the Venetian Sea Achievement, which is as Venice, have at least 75% trade power in both Alexandria and Constantinople nodes, owning less than 10 cities. So what that means is lots of vassal play and there's a little bit of cheese you can do like I could just own it all and then release subjects and feed it to them. That works, but I'm going to try my best to uh, do it legit and uh, just have vassals. You know what that means? We're going to be trying to get the purple Phoenix. We're going to also be probably getting, you know, like a Syria or something along those lines. But if you guys are excited for something like this, please do make sure you leave a like on the video if you have not already. Leaving a like on the first episode does help out way more than you may know. I would like to shoot for a like goal of about 2,000 likes on this first video. If you guys would not mind, I would appreciate that. If you have not already, subscribed. We do have videos that come out every single day on this channel. So if you're looking for that EU4 fix, you want some daily EU4 content, make sure you subscribe. And if you ding the bell, you'll get notifications when we upload. I also have a Discord, subreddit, Twitter, all those things. They're all linked in the description below as well as my Patreon. And uh, I do have a mod pack. So if you're wondering why my game looks the way it does, Chewy's Mod Pack, linked in the description below on the Steam Workshop. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you like it. Helps other people find it as well. But you guys are here for some Venice. So let's play some Venice. So here is our starting position. We have a vassal of Naxos. And we also we used to have a vassal of Corfu, if I recall. But uh, we do not. We are guaranteeing Albania. And we are also guaranteeing the Knights. So there's a bit of shenanigans that we could possibly do with that. We are also, I, I swear Corfu used to be a vassal, but uh, I do not recall. We can rival Byzantium, so we're going to do that because we intend to attack Byzantium very early on. We can also rival Genoa, which is fine with me. So day one, we are going to embargo all of our rivals. Ooh, I cannot embargo you. I will embargo you and I will embargo you. As far as alliances go, we should look for some alliances. Maybe we can get an alliance with these guys. Yes, we can. I will ally them. That will allow me to... Um, basically use them use their navy to beat up on the ottoman navy which we will inevitably have to do that being said venice starts with a rather formidable navy we have five galleys and 13 transports and seven light ships so let's go ahead and protect over here in uh well maybe actually we privateer in constantinople go home at war i don't actually think that that is good for us financially but it does hurt the ottomans and uh, hurting the Ottomans is definitely something that I can get behind. I'm going to build up a few galleys here. More is more when it comes to galleys. So naval or supply limit or supply limit. Um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Force limit is more of a suggestion in the words of Arumba. So if you're curious why we have a serene Doge Francisco Foscari, we have the serene Republic, the Venetian government, which gives us an extra merchant corruption at the cost of a ton of absolutism. But what it also does is it enables uh, factions. We are a merchant republic and elections happen by a lottery where we get to choose our leader. So we can also create trading cities and we can also form trade leagues. So interesting mechanics, all things that not very many people have played with before. I know I certainly have not. So let's sort out our estates. We do not have estates, right? Okay, <laughs> so let's have these guys be supportive of us. And uh, it looks like day one, there isn't really a whole lot to do if we have no estate. So I will get some base tax down here. The reason why I do that is because it lowers the overall dev, which is fine. It doesn't hurt me that much. But what it does do is it allows me to um, get money in the bank and it lowers the dev, which allows me to dev these other ones for cheaper because dev cost is affected by total dev of the province. So hopefully that explains why I did that. Plus it gives me money to buy some of these guys, right? So production is okay. This guy's half off, is he not? I believe he is half off. I'm almost positive he is. Yes, he's half off. So we'll go with him. And these guys are all full price. So we'll just go with you. And these guys are all full price as well. So I guess we'll just go with you. Always build up to your force limit day one if you are able. So we'll shift click there for five. And uh, that's about it. So let's take a look at our mission tree here. We do have a unique mission tree. Monopolize the Adriatic, which is to vassalize Ragusa or take Ragusa, who is indeed guaranteed by Auto Blob. So there's going to be a little bit of finagling we're going to have to do for that. Expand the arsenal. 
sailor level at least 60% and at least 100% of our navy. We'll be able to do that in no time. That will give us um, a decent admiral and Venetian marines. Marine force limit. Very cool. Total income of at least 30. We'll get that in no time. Land force limit modifier and leaders without upkeep. Very solid. New pillings, which is to uh, own Venice and have at least 10 development. I don't have at least 10 development here. What? Grown by at least 10. Right. Okay. I can do that. The Eldine Monopoly printing press has embraced. Okay. So this is glass. And I'm pretty sure that means I can get the, um, whatchamacallit, fastening. So I'm going to look that up really quick because I always forget about that event. And if I do it right now, I will try to uh, spawn it. Lads, my disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. It cannot spawn in Venice. Apparently, Venice is an excluded province because it actually meets the requirements day one, which is kind of funny. So, yeah, not going to happen. But uh, that is the mission tree. Now... Initially, we need to do some funsies over here. So what I need to do is get some claims on Byzantium because I intend to attack these guys ASAP and I have, I could no CB them, but uh, I don't think that's super necessary. What I would rather do, they are my rival. So I will go up to speed four here and we will build some spy network on December 12th. I'll also turn my army maintenance down all the way because, you know, no reason to be paying for a navy or an army if I don't need it. Istria or... Oh, that's fine. Guess we'll just lose our mill advisor after one month. Maybe we'll even get lucky and get a better one. On the 12th, we will begin this. And now, I bet we're steering from here. So we can also get some hostile trading. So check this out. 2.2 roughly every month. So that's pretty solid. That will allow us to get a claim on them and we'll be able to attack them. We are going to probably full annex them and then release them as a vessel. The reason you do that is because it uh, takes away the malices that you would normally get. So I am actually going to turn my army maintenance up. We're going to speed five it for a few. Now let's get my armies over here. We have 13 galleys, so we're actually in a really good spot with that. Now, I believe... I am built up to my force limit. Oh, I have some of my ships queued up here. Right, right, right. That's okay. All right. So here we go. Now we just need to wait a few months and we'll be able to attack these guys. No big deal. Oh, they're actually at war with Epirus. Okay. There you go. Two more months and I'll be able to attack them. Let's get the Doge in there. That's a free general and you don't lose a stability when, you're, uh, when your ruler dies. So Though I do think you lose a stability if they die on a siege. So just a heads up for that. We're going to get a claim on... Um... Sure, let's get a claim on Athens. Attack them for Athens because Athens is their vassal. These guys will get co pulled in. Now, I could co belligerent Wallachia. Oh, I have a truce with them. Okay. Well, that's fine then. Let's uh, have you guys. And then let's have you guys with an admiral head on out here. We are going to get these guys occupied as quickly as possible. Now Athens is occupied, so I don't actually will I don't actually want to crush uh crush them so much. Really? Spend a diplomat. Interesting. Okay, I actually don't think I've ever seen this button before. But anyways, you have the aristocrats here, or factions. Not a fact, not a thing that you get gets used very much, so I always forget about them, to be honest. So we have the uh aristocrats. We'll give morale of armies and national sailors. We have the traders who give trade power at the cost of tax and naval maintenance, which is nice. Construction cost, manpower, and goods produced. So you can spend admin diplo mill. All right. I suppose we'll spend some mail here. And I think it actually goes up as well from uh, doing other stuff, correct? Usually says like you can gain it via certain actions. Main concern is control of lucrative maritime trade. Very good. Uh, so, oh, right. I forgot about this. So I want the traders in power. So I don't care as long as the aristocrats are losing. So that is fine. Very good. So let's get these guys annexed ASAP. They can siege them down over here. I don't mind this at all, actually. Though, to be fair, I should probably be getting some spy network on them as well. No big deal. Let's have you guys... I will recruit a general and have these guys land on Constantinople. 
It's only a four stack over there, so that is fine. Now, these guys are over here on my land, so I need to be mindful of that. Mm-hmm. Interesting. So I'm curious how this war actually will go over here. I will turn this uh, prop, this state over onto the Defensiveness Edict. That will increase their siege ticks. Basically, just burn their time a little bit more, which is nice. We have more galleys built up over here. So I suppose... Get you guys over here. Is this his whole navy? No, he's got 12 ships. Yep, yep, yep. That's it. Okay. Have these ships head on down. I'll go with the... Uh, prestige. There we go. We are losing some galleys. But uh, it looks like they are losing much more than we are. We lost one to their four. Not bad, huh? All right. Pull you guys over here. Blockade for... Go. And we're going to siege down some provinces. No big deal. And look at that. You have these guys basically done. Meanwhile, these guys have been on this siege over here for almost a year to uh, no avail. That's not bad, right? It's incredible. And we'll be able to piece them out separately. No problem. All I need to do is occupy them and we'll be good. Get some claims on you guys. Yeah. Just need to win the Siege of Constantinople. We'll be able to get onto these guys and they'll be able to they'll be willing to peace out pretty quickly, I reckon. And uh yes, I think we're probably gonna go Orthodox, if you're wondering. Because uh, Orthodox is very fun. And overpowered as well. Get in here, beat up on you. Alright. And that's why you build a bunch of galleys, right? In case you didn't know, now you do. All right. So the Doge is dead at 74. Not bad. We can let the lottery decide or we can lose 25 Republican tradition if there's one that really stands out to us. This guy's only 49. And he's a 525. So I'm actually very much willing to do that. The guilds are now in power. I think I'd rather spend some points on these guys. And they are going up as well because we're protecting trade, I suppose. Ah, it's it's based on very interesting. Okay. Okay, so now we've got a 525, five, and he's only 49, so he'll at least lead, lead us for a few years. So all is well. Now Wallachia is over here. They're probably gonna end up winning that siege before I get anything else major done here. Unless I can get these guys full occupied in the meantime. 28%. My ally would join. Now, yeah, they're gonna be annoying. So I'm going to stand on their capital. Occupied and besieged provinces is a very powerful modifier. Yep, we're going to be able to piece them out. Look at that. Four reps, all their money. And just like that, we can get these guys um, annexed here. So I could vassalize them. And I have to wait and see what's going on here. If I can vassalize them, I will. I'm going to turn that fort off as well. They don't have an army, so I don't need to man the forts. Yep, don't need to man any forts, actually. So you can just turn them all off. Well, actually, I'll keep that one on because of the devastation in the province. Yeah, all these other provinces over here, no devastation, don't need the forts. If your enemy doesn't have an army, there's no point in fielding your army if you or paying for your army if you don't need to. Or uh, forts. Or an army. Speaking of, my army's at full. They don't need any reinforcements, so I'll turn them all the way down. I keep it up a little bit just in case they take an attrition tick. That way, they'll still be able to re-refill. So, it looks like I'm not going to be able to full annex them, but I will be able to vassalize them. However, um... That means that, uh, what's his nuts? Uh, uh, Athens is going to go free, and that's okay. So, Constantinople, or the Byzantines is now our vassal, which is cool. They're not actually very disloyal. Oh, and we're in a defensive war against the Ottomans. All right. I did not realize that the Ottomans had attacked them. So, good news and bad news. Good news is we navally beat them. Bad news is military, it's going to be pretty tough, but I think we can manage this. I think it's very manageable, actually. So here's the nice thing. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, no. And I bet it's for Constantinople. It is. Okay, well, if we can pull this war off appropriately, we might be able to um, sneak a little bit of something like this here and then give them a dern as well. Now, it would also be smart if I gave them all this and then 
took this province for myself and released Bulgaria because Bulgaria his uh, claims on all this stuff over here. All right, so let's um, go down to speed four here. If we can catch his navy out in piecemeal, that would be best case scenario. Like this here. Oh yeah, that's a bunch of galleys as well. We sunk two galleys and we actually stole one. That's a that's a really big deal right there. All right. So we need to improve relations with these guys. Get a claim on you as well. well. Looks like I don't need it. Improve relations with you. Recall you. Build spy network. Build spy network on the Ottomans if you're at war with them ever. It's uh, it's definitely the way, brother. All right. So these guys are... Wait. Oh. Oh, Athens is just in the war because they were in the war with me before. So yeah, the Ottomans don't have a navy anymore. We sunk it. Venice is so strong in that regard. So this will give me naval tradition, marines, and an admiral who is a 2343. Is that better than what we have right now? Absolutely better than what we have right now. So that's fine. All right, mill access. We have mill access. Let's just uh, group the armies up and get, get on marching. So they're probably gonna take these forts because the Ottomans just have really good siege ability. Yeah. Hmm. I should have gotten some allies before the war. That was uh, that was an oversight on my end. Athens would be my ally. They'd probably accept vassalization, wouldn't they? Yeah, they er would they? No, oh, Serene Republic. Interesting. Genoa is no longer a valid rival, but that means we have big PP because whenever you suppress an arrival, you gain quite a bit of PP, and we also got quite a bit for uh, vassalizing those guys, which is great. All right. So, I don't think I can scornfully insult them since I'm at war. So, our PP will slowly sink below um, that uh, coveted 50 mark, but that's okay. Okay. So. Discipline would be preferred. It's expensive. But I think we do it. We'll also stay focused on dip. That's fine. Is he on mill four yet? He is not. I lie. We're going to focus on mill. Because getting mill five might be give us a huge edge on uh, defeating these guys. So this is their whole army. Most of it. Yep, yep, yep. That's it right there. Very good. All right. So let's get over here and blockade these guys. The sooner we can start getting their spine or their uh, uh, devastation stacking up and their war exhaustion, the better. And if I can let get them off those sieges, all the better as well. Their fort zone of control actually allows us to march on to both of the provinces that they're on right now. So all is well. I'll take the admin mana. Yes, please. They're sieging some of my provinces over here. Oh, no. Anyways. So, yeah, we're in a good spot here. Let's get on to Edirne. I will actually probably march right past it and attack them here. Hmm. I'm going to just stand on their capital here. I'm not going to win a base race. Hmm. Okay, so the question is, is do we attack them or do we... Because they are losing quite a bit of manpower being on that siege. But then again, so am I. Like I'm going to end up needing to slacken standards. So I'm going to do that right now, preemptively. I'm not going to win these sieges before them. Hmm. <laughs> Best case scenario, I would get them onto Corfu and I would blockade them on there. So I'm actually going to head over this way. Hopefully they do not... Okay, they got a disease outbreak. That's big. That's a good deal. This has no general. This stack has no general. So I'm, I'm, that's why I'm beelining it for them. Status quo. Good news. Water shortage. Unfortunate. No, 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 no. I don't think so. These guys will be there on the 10th, and I will be there on the 6th. So they're actually even better. They're attacking me. They're taking a minus one to attack me. That's a stack wipe. All right. This is going... Oh, they're on a 14% already. Holy... Oh, no, no, no. The Ottomans are so good at sieges, man. How do you beat that? How do you beat that? Yeah, they're going to probably take that. 28%? Oh, my gosh. They got a disease outbreak. Let's go. All right. That's like best case scenario. Shift consolidate before the battle. Very important. 
Attack, attack, attack. They are reinforcing. But alas, we win. Let's get these boys out of Gallipoli as well. Always take your 10 to 1, boys. Very important. All right. So. This siege right here. Very important. Oh, I don't have enough cannons. Are you kidding me? No, I do. That's a, that's not true. I have, I do have enough cannons. Local defense enemies or... Yep, that's fine. All right. So, uh, yeah, we are clapping the Ottomans. I'm actually kind of surprised at how well that battle went for us. Now, I just need this mill tech. We are going to... Oh. I'm not going to barrage it yet. Taking mill tech is actually more important for me here. The mill tech is more important because this tactics and morale advantage is huge. Like, cannot be overstated how important it is. And I'm going to keep my army all here. It might sound dumb, but it makes them less likely to want to attack me. First reform here. As a republic, we get different ones. We got national unrest. Political dynasty can re-elect from ruling family or yearly republican tradition. Uh, national unrest is pretty solid. The random candidate bonus is great. I'm going to go with that. We'll take this tech here. That will also make them less likely to attack me. And now, whenever I get it, I will be able to um, barrage the walls here. So they... Oh! <sighs> the cavalry have arrived. The Mams saw the moment of weakness for the auto and attacked them. All is well. So they actually can't cross here because it's blockaded. And if we get Gallipoli, we can occupy everything on this side of the border. And uh, they won't be able to do a thing about it. So uh, things just got a lot better for us, guys. A lot better. The uh, the Ottomans... The uh, the Mams attacking is like best case scenario. The Renaissance has spawned. Oh, they're coming for me. All right. Now, this is a minus one for me because I'm standing in the hills. But uh, it looks like that was kind of a desperate defense there. All right. Very good, very good, very good. Now, I'll pay to barrage those walls. That's fine. The sooner we win the siege, the better. We have ticking war score this whole time as well, remember. Give all these forts over to Byzantium. And we're going to carpet siege over here. And this means that uh, the war is over. All we need to do is siege their capital here. Siege down a bunch of these provinces over here. And uh, that's about it. That's about all she wrote, lads. Now, I will put these guys back over to uh, protect trade, yeah? No, I lied. Have you a uh, privateer in Constantinople? It gives us a little bit of PP for privateering against our rival, yeah? Are they not my rival anymore? Oh, I didn't click the button. I thought I did. All right, Constantinople, go home at war. Why are they canceling... There we go. Now I'm confused. Hmm. Anyways, being ahead on trade on Diplotech is always good because it gives you 20% trade efficiency. So it's basically an always must have. Now. So I can turn these forts off. They're not going to march any men up there. Their armies are all on this side, and they are uh, basically done. So, we're going to take that. Now, I will take this for myself. I will show you guys exactly the piece that we're going for here. This is the peace deal. However, except for uh, this province here, we're going to take that for myself. So, the Darren will be ceded. This one will be ceded to me. Everything else will be given to Byzantium, which... Uh, you guys are aware, at least many of you guys would be aware, that uh, Byzantium has a unique mission tree with the uh, Purple Phoenix DLC. So we're going to take advantage of that. And we're going to get these guys piled up over here. The Mams, for some reason, are not uh, pulling boys over here, but that's okay. I don't see a Mammy army anywhere. They're These guys have risen some men out of the dirt. But uh, how's that for an opener? I actually... <laughs> oh, it's such a newbie thing. I didn't even, like, realize that the Ottomans had declared war. Surprise. All right. So, we can now get the piece we're looking for. The reason I have to give this to them directly is because it's their capital. Now. 
can also get some more reps if I wanted. And uh, I think that's a good deal. And then I'll take a little bit of money from them. There we go. And now I can also release Bulgaria, who will get Burgas, who has cores on all of this. And now these guys, via their mission tree, at least they should get a bunch of missions. Where are we at here? Oh, we need to get them Athens in this province here. That's fine. They have a core on this, actually. So I'll just attack them. But before we do that, let's pick some rivals here. Let's go with Hungary and uh, Milan. And let's see here. Right. We can't do... Hmm. We can't do... Um, we don't need to guarantee you guys anymore. We can't do uh, strong duchies because we do not have any... Uh, whatchamacallits? Though, you know the things. We don't have uh, estates. Lose a little bit of Diplo for that, but that's okay. I don't mind. But yeah, now these guys have a bunch of cores to uh, reconquest for. And uh, I suppose we just turn right around and attack these guys for a reconquest and then... Put you over here. My manpower is absolutely in the pooper, so... Tragic, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. Eight, 5,000 manpower in the hole, like you do. Take a straight crossing. Who cares? Not my problem. <laughs> now we uh, loot them. That's, that's their entire army. So once you can verify that that is their entire army, you can turn your army maintenance and your mill maintenance, your fort maintenance all the way down. Or not all the way down, but army maintenance, I keep it up a little bit just because you do take attrition. That allows your manpower to kind of trickle in, but you don't have to pay for the actual maintenance for morale. And uh, let's see here. Have you guys come on over here? They are in the Gulf of Toronto. Is there port there? So comp com Army Navy composition has changed up a little bit. And I think what I'm going to do here is I am going to add a guy here. And that will give us the unrest we're looking for. Orthodox Zealots. All right. All is well. All is well. And as soon as they hit 50%, we get to pop them ourselves here. Um, Admin guy, he's half off, so I'd like to keep him. He's old, but he's half off still, so... Steal a couple of ships? No. Nope. No ships. Those provinces will both go to Byzantium. And we do not have a truce with these guys. Oh, I do have a truce with them. Interesting. That'll call in uh, roads, which is actually great. That'll allow me to annex roads. That way they won't raid me, and I don't have to tie up the Diplo slot anymore with them. So that's good. Uh, let's rival the Mams. It is Mam. Let's uh, send these guys a scornful insult to let them know that they suck and that we hate them. Mm hmm. I would like the traders. So let's go with the traders. And I will also embargo these guys. Because why not? I will also embargo you guys. Who is getting absolutely clapped by uh, Poland, which is hilarious. We have giant PP, which is always nice. I will get some more trade down here. And since I gave these guys a bunch of clay, they're actually like super happy and loyal with me. So that's good. And uh, now... Have these guys siege, siege. Need to integrate these guys before too long. So let's improve relations with them. May the Madonna forgive them. Oh, no. I don't really care about Catholic because all my vassals are Orthodox, so I might as well join them, you know? I could beat them, but why beat them if you could join them? Isn't that the phrase? <laughs> Something like that. All right, cool. How's that for an opener? We are Venice. It is. It has been eight years, and we have conquered all of Byzantium. And we also have Bulgaria. So, uh, yeah. Vassal play. It's fun. <laughs> We're going to have a lot of fun with this because if you don't know, Third Rome, or I think it's... No, it's not Third Rome. Uh, Purple Phoenix adds... A really cool mission tree for these guys, and it is uh, very conquest driven. So we'll be able to use them to reconquest basically all of Anatolia. We'll get down here and we'll get Syria and annex basically all of the Levant with Syria. And uh, that should allow us to get pretty close to where we need to be for the Venetian Sea Achievement here. So own less than 10 cities. Currently we have 16, so I'm going to have to give some of them up. That's fine. Uh, own in the Sea of Marmara. We have 75%. And the Alexandria. Oh, it's Alexandria. Ah. Sea of Marmara is right here, yeah? Okay, so Constantinople and Alexandria. Right. So, 
There's not really any good vassals down here, but we might be able to just feed Syria. So we'll have like a huge Byzantium, a huge Syria. And that means we're probably going to end up needing to go like a diplomatic idea group. That gives you... Uh, or influence is also quite good for subject loyalty. But a diplomatic is great as well. They're both pretty solid. Either way, guys, if you're excited, please, like I said, 2,000 likes is the goal. I would appreciate it a lot if we got that. And uh, if you're enjoying showing my support, showing your support is really good. It helps me out because it lets me know that I'm making content you guys like. Uh, Venice, I figured, would be a fun run. And uh, it won't be too long, but it's a great one for people can get involved. Uh, also, I do have a mod called Land of the Free. It's a USA mod. There's a big update coming out here, I think, next week for it. And so if you guys want to check out some fun gameplay with that, I do have a playlist of that on my channel. And uh, the big update coming out is going to be changing a ton of stuff in the new world. And uh, I'm going to be already starting work on the 1.2 update, which is going to be the Dixie update. Uh, if you want to uh, fulfill your wildest, weird fantasies and play as the Confederates, you'll be able to do that in the Dixie update. So uh, Land of the Free, check it out on the Steam Workshop. And uh, yes, subscribe if you haven't already. Join the Discord, the subreddit, the Twitter. They're all linked in the description below the video, as I said. And uh, I couldn't do it without my patrons, so big shout out to you guys. If you want to support on Patreon, link is also in the description. You guessed it. That's all I got for you for today, though. This is Chewy Shoot, and I will catch you guys later.